Hello, I'm Michael Lawrence. I'm going to teach you how to be happy. From my previous videos, you'll recognize that these are the four parts of the mind. Consciousness, that's you. Attention, thought, and emotion are tools that you use to create experiences. And one of the experiences you create is happiness. I'm going to show you how you do it. Attention is the power source for thought. And when you focus your attention on a happy thought, and you allow that happy thought to be intensified by emotion, you experience happiness. And every time you were ever happy in your entire life without exception, you lined up these tools properly within your mind to experience happiness without knowing it. And because you don't realize that you're doing it within your mind, you attribute your happiness or unhappiness to sources outside of you. And this is absolutely impossible, and I'm going to prove it to you now. Now, if you're engaging in an activity that typically people believe brings happiness, like a birthday party, you're attending your birthday party and you're getting all the greatest gifts you've ever wanted. Everyone you've ever wanted to attend is attending and they're all enjoying themselves and you're blissfully happy opening all these gifts that you've always wanted. Everyone's happy, you're happy, and then all of a sudden you start thinking that next week you're going to court because you're getting sued. And as soon as you start thinking about court next week, you become unhappy. Whether it's sad, frustrated, depressed, angry, whatever it might be, you're no longer happy. Now, if your birthday party or the gifts or the people you're with were the source of your happiness, it would be impossible for you to focus on anything in your mind to make you unhappy. You would have to be happy for the entire duration of your birthday party. And obviously that's not the case. If you think about your life experiences, you'll realize that your happiness or your unhappiness is always tied to what you're thinking and nothing outside of you. Now, realizing this, in order to be happy or avoid unhappiness, you need to regain control of these tools within your mind. And you've lost control of these tools because you believe almost every thought in your mind and you believe almost all of your emotions. And because you believe them, you're constantly reacting to them and focusing your attention on whatever they tell you. So if an unhappy thought comes through that you believe, you focus on it, emotion feels it, and you're unhappy. These tools have hijacked control of your attention and they're now dictating what you experience instead of you being consciousness controlling your attention deciding what you experience. So you must regain conscious control of your attention in order to be happy. This is the only way or to avoid unhappiness. So how do you regain control of your attention? Well, one of the ways you do that is you stop reacting to thought and you stopped reacting to emotion. And you could play a little mental game to stop doing that. And when you play this little mental game, your control of your attention gets stronger. You begin to believe that you're really in control of your attention and thought and emotion are no longer in control. So when a thought comes up to your mind and tells you to do something, simply don't do it or do nothing, or do the opposite. And when emotion is trying to tell you how to feel, ignore it, or believe otherwise. And if you play this little game enough times, you begin to realize that you're really in control of your attention. And once you realize that you're in control of your attention, you can begin to select the experiences that serve you, and to avoid the experiences that do not serve you. Now, there's many other ways to do this. I've detailed some in my book. And if you go to my website, you can find even more information. And I want you to know that lasting happiness is very possible. All you need to do to have lasting happiness is to regain control of these tools. That's all, my friends. Nothing beyond this. Thank you for listening.